eating protein and kidney transplant. We know that animal protein, in particular red meat, produces many toxins and acid wastes. And uh, this overworks the kidney, which is responsible for cleaning the blood and removing some of these toxins. So what we recommend is that you eat red meat in moderation. So what's the right amount? So per day, you should not eat more than your palm uh, shape uh, of uh, protein. So that's a kind of an estimate of how much protein you should be eating on a day daily basis. There are a lot of other good sources of protein uh, compared to red meat. That include fish such as tuna, salmon, haddock, trout, also turkey and chicken. Greek yogurt is a great source uh, of protein as well as cottage cheese. And there are a lot of vegetables such as beans and nuts that can be helpful. So be aware of those alternative sources of protein in order to keep your diet kind of balanced. In particular, the plant-based proteins are interesting, and this can go from edamame to nuts, as we said, as well as oat and other ingredients. So look for those plant-based proteins if you're looking for a healthier uh, source of protein to your diet. There are certain foods that you definitely should avoid. That include uh, eating grapefruit or any grapefruit juice because it affects the metabolism of the anti-rejection medication, in particular tacrolimus. Also, we do not recommend eating, eating any star fruit, uh, any raw or undercooked meats, or any unpasteurized milk or dairy products. This will protect you against getting infections after transplantation, which are most common in the setting of anti-rejection medications.